I am really curious about this quest because this is part of the main quest line, and I don't know, it almost feels like a weird time to introduce a whole new character or a whole new set of circumstances, so I'm wondering if this ties into something else. I'm wondering if this does relate back to something else that we've dealt with previously in the mod. Because I think we're nearing the end of the main quest line, too. So I'm just sitting here wondering what's going on. I'm wondering how this would be resolved if this gets resolved just in this quest alone that we're on right now, if it's part of something bigger. Maybe it is just a standalone thing. Maybe it doesn't relate to anything that we've done before. Who knows? Ah, a gated community trying to keep me out, huh? I see how it is. I don't know why, but the... The phrasing of the staff using it to open new avenues, I'm just imagining Dark Souls slash From Software style illusory walls. Like, that's just where my mind went immediately. Probably because I'm playing Elden Ring, probably because I literally just had a cave in Elden Ring where every other wall was an illusory wall, but... Hmm. How do they want me to get up there? Oh, I see. I think. It's probably not going to be that exciting. It's probably not going to be as exciting as having to use the staff to break down walls. Oh, that's how they wanted me to go. That makes a lot more sense than the roundabout way that I just did. Head within the Sanctum and investigate. Hey, don't make... Mike, come on. Ulcrin, I swear to God, you keep bumping into me. Hey, torture tools, torture tool, bloody rags. I think this is the right spot. That priest knows what he's talking about. Or, sorry, missionary. I just wish I called people by their actual names, not missionary this, priest that. It feels so impersonal when they've been so central to the story, when they've been a significant part of the game. Oh. Yeah, I hear Hey, look, there you go. Time to kiss my blood. Yeah, I just... Brought him back to life to kill him. For all I know, I could have just hit him with my sword and that would have done it as well, but... He was purple, the staff is purple, so... You know, you put two and two together. I heard that. <laughs> I definitely heard that. You guys ready for jump scares? I also realize there's more stuff... Up. But I heard screams, so uh, let's prioritize the screams. Ah, needs a key. Bullshit. Oh, okay, so I didn't actually need to use the staff on him last time. Oh, Ulcarin. That doesn't count as a jump scare, that's just me being scared way too easily. That's unrelated. Hmm, is there no pulley for this? Is there no switch for that? I would have thought that the pulley or the switch would be just right here. I guess that's just what I'm used to for Skyrim usually. <gasps> hmm. That hay bale is mighty suspicious. Oh. Never mind, I think it's just bugging out. I got excited, I was like, oh, this will be the, uh, the new avenue they're talking about. Nah. I just start using this on every wall, hoping that it does something. Wait, what if... Oh? Tragic seeing these forts in such a state. Oh? Can't say I'm surprised seeing the Empire these days. Wait. Wait. 
My progress through the asylum was stifled by a gate that would not budge despite my efforts at the other end of the hall is a door that leads deeper into this haunted sanctum. If I'm to find a key and overcome this gate, it may be found down there. Oh. Okay. Also, look at this. It changed color because I hit it with my staff. I thought it was going to open and I got excited. Oh. Well, we're going into a haunted asylum. Yeah, this isn't going to be terrifying at all. Once again. Dark Souls vibes. But that was actually something that I saw recently. That um, someone was asking for... Uh-oh. You're real? I feel your warmth. Please, free us, release us from this prison. The staff, you have the key. The meat won't find another soul to consume. Whenever the meat comes, use your key. Oh. I don't like that. I don't like any of that. What I was going to say is I saw someone had been asking for mods that were either reminiscent of Enderal, Vigilant... Dark End, and someone had recommended Beyond Reach to them. And I think it's a very good recommendation. Beyond Reach is this really nice mix of darker, grittier fantasy. Certain aspects of the writing definitely feel a little bit more gruesome, feel a little bit more in line with, you know, the aforementioned, the before-mentioned mods, Enderal, Vigilant, so on and so forth. It almost feels more serious, in a sense. And that right there, that meat right there, that's going to be important. Effigy of Nier. I missed. Or it didn't actually matter. I thought that was going to be the meat. I mean, it's technically meat. Everything's shaking. Oh, no. Why is everything shaking? What did I break? Alcrin, let's go. Oh, Staff of the Farseer. That's just another one, right? Yeah. I guess they did that in case you, um... Didn't have any soul gems to re-enchant it. Smart, frankly. I'm glad they did that. Ah, yes. Long, dark, ominous hallways. Okay. Okie dokes. In effect, staged lights should appear. What? Oh, I have to hit that thing over there? Oh, God. Uh... Did that actually hit it? It did. Okay. Oh, God, what the hell? This is just a horror mod now. With a weird, like, police siren rave going on, too. Oh! That's the thing. That's a patient. I'm glad that little thing wasn't deafening. I'm glad that being in the little death corridor wasn't blowing my ears out. Because that's something I often find with a lot of horror stuff, is we're just going to make everything unbelievably loud. Yeah, I... There you are. Granted, it was almost a little too quiet, but I'd rather something be too quiet than me just going fucking deaf. Ah, nothing in there? Oh, my staff's out of charge. I'll just recharge this one. And, damn it, I was hoping maybe a button would appear behind it then. Not that lucky. I mean, hey, it sounded like a cool idea. I can use this to reach out and open things. I'm gonna get trapped in here again, aren't I? No, I didn't. 
That looks ominous. Let's quick save. Yeah, that's very ominous. Do you wish to take the item? No. That sounds terrible. Oh, maybe I need to. Who am I kidding? Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's something else. Sit in the Master Warden's chair. I'm not gonna sit in the chair. There's a big-ass axe. Like, why would I do that? I'm not an idiot. Huh? Oh. Oh. Oh! Can I hit the lever from here? I don't know if I can. I don't know if it'll go through this. Oh, God. I'm going to drown in blood. This is not good. What if I sit in the chair? This is a odd, odd mod. What if I... Oh! I gotta go up! Okay. As it's, uh, it's like the Thieves Guild quest. As long as I keep my head above, in this case, not water, but blood, I'll be fine. If you're squeamish, if you don't like blood and guts and gore, then... I mean, Skyrim might not be the game for you anyway. It's not the most gory, but there's blood. But this, oh god. This must be terrible if you are squeamish. We're gonna be here a while. This is very slow. Can we just talk about how silly it is, though, that there's a wooden gate with plenty of holes in it, and the blood doesn't spill out? And I realize you can just make the argument, it's like, oh, it's magic, but it's just kind of funny when you think about it, that because the wooden gate is just a solid model despite having those holes that, uh, you know, it's like, oh yeah, no, this is fine. No, nothing can escape that. Boop the heart. Return to the stage. Hey, blood's gone. Tragic seeing these forts in such a state. Can't say I'm surprised seeing the Empire these days. I mean, I wouldn't blame the Empire for the, uh, the gut dungeon, to be fair. Oh god, did I just get stuck? Oh, yep. Really wedged myself in here. Mm-mm-mm. Elkrin, can I get a hand? Elkrin, please. Well, that's what TCL is for. Now, will that open? It's open! Perfect! I really thought there was going to be something with the battle axe. I thought I was going to need to use the battle axe to smash open the grate, to release the blood, but... No. Hey! Don't make this a habit now. Hey! Don't make this a habit now. I thought this was going to be more terrifying. I'm glad that it's not, but there's also plenty of time for that to change, I feel. If anything, I can see them luring me into a false sense of security with the, um... With the, oh, return to the stage. Like, oh, the, the worst if it's over. Just, uh, just go back. You know, everything's going to be fine. Now, the other thing I noticed is... That we had this little gate right here. Can I use that to... I don't know if that does anything, though. And I don't think I can climb through this. Hmm. Unless we can open up this one as well. And then... Yeah, I think the problem is that I can... It hit these things just fine. It just hasn't seemed to do much yet. Yeah, that hit it. Alright. I mean, back to the main stage. Just quick saving because I'm ready for something to murder me and scream in my ear and deafen me for life. Oh, hey! You're sitting up! You're feeling better? 
I'm glad. Oh god, oh god. Kill it, please! Defeat the entity. Oh! That's meat! Yeah, I hear it too. That's meat. I mean, I know it said use the staff on the meat. Oh god, oh god, what's going on? I'm out of charge, I'm out of charge! Alright, meat. Meat. Hey, you, get out of here. Lower the meat gate, please. Yeah, I hear it too. Yeah, no, I, I, I know, I hear it. Ooh, 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 the artery suffers. Good, 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 good. Two out of four. It's like the uh, the fight against the Iliad King, or Dereni King, or whatever it was. Oh God. Just keep attacking it, I guess. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Both arteries destroyed. All right, there we go. And... Huh? Huh? Uh, all right, well. That, that was my best bet. Oh, there we go. There we go. Just got to keep hitting it. Oh, uh, this is going to be the same. We just got to do this over and over again. Well, at least I know the uh, mechanic. At least I know what the mechanic is here. Yeah, I gotta do this five times total. The nice thing is that, despite having to go through different stages of this, it seems to keep the effect of the staff on the item, so I don't need to constantly reuse the staff necessarily. It's a little thing, but it's nice. I also just, I like that we're getting to see actual mechanics, I've said it before, but I think using mechanics for boss fights or for things like this, it can be really, really fun. I think programming-wise, it's really cool to see. So for me, it's a nice change of pace, aside from just hit the enemy, they're dead, problem solved. There we go. Body is destroyed. Hey, 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 hey. Body's destroyed. Get out of here. We don't need you anymore. Well, that was easier than expected. I was hoping to loot it for the key. No. I want to know what was communicating with me. I want to know what was speaking to me of destroy the meat. Oh. I think we're about to find out. Patient, patient, patient. What happened here? We've not much time left. The final destination calls. You have freed us from this cage of hate. The meat recedes and the promise of a good sleep returns. I need to access the lower levels of the sanctum. The path has been cleared, yet that path becomes ever steeper. A descent that you may not climb. Do you wish to continue? I hope I've ended your torment. An opening has formed from your actions, large enough for us to escape. Yet we must thank our savior. And so we stay a moment longer. Though the meat only sleeps, it has not died. We will depart before its waking. You shall do the same. Have no other soul enter these halls. All right. Kind of terrifying, but pretty cool. If there was a section in the New York Times for uh, mod reviews, which sounds like the dumbest thing and it'll never happen, but that would be my little blurb. That'd be my one-sentence blurb for this. It's like, oh, pretty terrifying, but pretty cool. George from Tried Zero Period Productions. In such a state. Can't say I'm surprised seeing the Empire these days. Huh. What's that stench? 
best be on your guard. I'm really glad we don't have smell of vision for games. I hope we never do. What do we want, and why is it in this room? There's the scream. I heard it. Hey, guess what? Illusory wall. Oh, insufficient charge. Boop. I called it. Wait. Start it, guess stop. We just... Are you... No. Uh, okay. The same symbol that was carved onto the scrap of flesh sits at the center of an audience of candles. The block that bears the symbol seems ill-positioned. It must have been moved along with these candles. The sanctum shows dereliction in every corner except for the wax that burns here and there. The question lingers. Who lit these candles? You know what that reminds me of? Forever ago, there was this mod that showed some promise. I think it was called the Candle Makers. It was the idea that there was a guild of people who went around to light all those candles that you saw in dungeons and everything. Unfortunately, it didn't really go anywhere. Unfortunately, it didn't really seem to ever continue at all. But I thought it was a, an interesting, if kind of funny, premise for a mod. Sometimes I think about mods that never went anywhere, mods that we kind of, like, lost over the years, and that's one of them. What am I searching for in here? I guess it's one of those things where you'll know when you see it. I'm just waiting for something to jump out and murder me, though. At least Alcorn's got my back. If anyone's got my back, Alcorn's got my back. Listen, I'm just looking for a serial killer who kills hookers. Oh, this again? Alright. Oh, this again where I gotta find... The heart, and destroy the heart. Well, I mean, I did just literally say, it's like, oh, I like mechanics. Oh, I'm glad that we're getting mechanics, so. It's only fair that we see yeah, the mechanics used more than once, because if anything, it's like, yeah, you want the mechanics to be used <laughs> multiple times. That way, I mean, frankly, it's the thing of so much time goes into don't making don't these specific mechanics that if you just use it the one time, it's not a waste, but... All that hard work almost kind of just could have been used more and more and more. Well, I found the surgery chamber. An ill-conceived Ill mess of man and beast lays sprawled upon the table. And hairs, hairs stand on your neck as you feel the focus of dead eyes from above. Seems this conjoining species would not confine to the witchmen. Fortunately... Ulcarin is fighting for me, but I still got to find the heart and destroy it, which I think it's marking it right now. I'm just getting a little turned around here as I try to explain what I want, or what I like about mechanics. It's like, oh yeah, I'm glad it's being used more than once, and as it is, we never found out what was causing this beast, this creature in Grey Belmore, so yeah. Makes sense that we would see it again, too. Makes sense that it'd be more than just the one iteration of it. Oh, please let me open this. Ah, it's locked. How anticlimactic that I gotta do this while being chased by a monster. Oh, can you just, uh, wait for a second while I open this? Thanks. I'm so glad you, uh, were kind enough to wait for me. I don't know if opening all those doors was a good thing. Or is the heart going to be in here? Oh! What? Oh, no. 
to rise and forget the ugly dreams that frightened you so when all was dark. The killer was Algren all along. Are we okay? You gotta hand it to the men who built these forts. You've really escape the and time. delve deeper. Especially I don't want to delve deeper. Like that sounds terrible. Shit. Holy shit! Might come on. Hey, hey, you come on. Hey, there's the heart. Oh, well, hold on. Boop. No? Okay. Breaking suddenly from the deep unease of the sanctum, you happen upon an equally deep feeling of comfort when entering the room. It's warm, and the heaviness that preceded has largely diminished. There's a sense of home here. The art that surrounds only relaxes you further. No, I'd be more terrified by this. If anything, this is creepier. If anything, this is somehow worse. The paranoia that locks your heart and tenses the body peaks here. You dare not look down the insidious pit, but you can hear something. This is no mere hole. It is a door to something much larger than what appears. You hear it scuttling on many legs, rapid. You hear it whispering with many voices. Can I... Might come on. Oh, okay. This is the one that's sensitive to heat. Cheeky. Sorry. Yeah, I could use something that was maybe uh, less explosive, but, you know. Oh. Not that tendril, though. This one? Yeah, there we go. They did say go deeper, and deeper we shall go. It's funny, because in a way, hey, don't make this a habit. It now. almost felt like we were over some of the creepy stuff. I mean, yeah, we had a whole serial murderer in Evermore that was carving people up, but I don't know. For some reason, I thought we had uh, put a lot of that behind us now. And it's like, oh, now we're just going to deal with the political shit in the kingdom. But this is just bringing us right back to those really creepy vibes we had early on in the mod, too. Stupid witchmen. It's all their fault. <laughs>